What is up? Welcome to the Talk Podcast number 79. As always, joined by Josh and Jose. How you guys doing? Great. Great. Do we want to announce that we all have throat cancer on the <laughs> podcast? Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like, Jose shows up. He's not feeling good. We start thinking, oh, he's got fucking COVID. Mm -hmm. Sam's halfway through his vaccines. I think you got your first shot already. Uh, mine's the week after yours. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And so. then I, I'm fully gestation period vaccinated and everything. But we all thought, oh, fuck, Jose's got COVID. And we started looking into it because what I, I said, think Sam started. Oh, my. I, I have this pain when I swallow. Yeah. And I was like, really? Because I was just talking about it today with Melissa. And I was like, it's like, you know, I don't want to throw any red flags or like act like Chris. You yeah. Know? <laughs> the hypochondriac. But it's like I might have throat cancer. <laughs> it's like every time I swallow and it's like it could be water, food, like anything. It hurts like right in the middle of my neck on my yeah. right side. Like almost like it's like. Uh, I don't know. My muscles like kind of tensing and it hurts. It's you know? tense and like inflated. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it might be allergies for me though, because I also feel it right in my nose and right here. I think you might just have two things going on. You might double die. Oh God. <laughs> but I, I've been having a problem where when I turn my head and I'm talking like this section, did you of pull my like the hurts. muscle or anything? No, I didn't pull a muscle, but it, it would just randomly pop up. I was like, what the fuck is this? Um, so we think it might be the mumps. Um, we or think it might be skin cancer. cancer. Um, yeah. yeah, when we put in the right in a you know Google searches, it immediately said throat cancer. The title's so. gonna be "Are We Dying?" <laughs> <laughs> um, find out on podcast number eighty. <laughs> we'll just yeah, well, slowly pick I'll, off. By the time this is coming out, I will have gotten my second dose of the vaccine, and then oh. it will be the day of where I'm probably gonna be really sick when yeah, this comes I, out. Oh, so. dude, oh, so you're gonna, getting it on Tuesday then, yep, right? Oh, that Tuesday. means ooh, Bleach Boy's gonna be tough for you. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> hey, that'll be number two. Oh, oh that's yeah. two in a row. Uh, speaking of Bleach boys this is podcast number two can you please raise your microphone josh okay oh so yeah we just we just talked about god. this last <laughs> yeah. oh <laughs> my god i will hit you in the mouth dude. see i'm looking at see i see sam over here he's just got his nose i'm slightly, constantly but... moving it when because i'm readjusting i'm fidgeting in my I, seat, agree. So I'm sam, constantly... I just started to get in the habit of like moving it away when i knew yeah you know. yeah good 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 that's that's proper it etiquette only took us, what, thank you almost a year and a half to get to this point. <laughs> we're learning we started from <laughs> zero knowledge of uh podcasting to hey we're now mm -hmm. we're experts but we yep. still have technical difficulties dude i was looking into because like i i do want to i think you already have a mic that we could use because i was yeah. like if we want a fourth one i want to make sure like we have a fourth mic. he's like oh if i buy a new mic i should just get the sure microphone oh. you know oh. we got uh, it um oh, okay yeah it worked have you used it yet no okay so i was looking into it and it seems complicated as fuck, by the really? way. Really? Because they were saying that you can't just plug it into straight into like the audio interface that we have. Oh. Because it's a very quiet microphone, so oh, it, it needs uh, it requires a lot of power to like boost it in. Oh, so they they say that you need something else to go in the middle of the connection no to shit. then go into your interface, and then oh. you'll like sound really good, and you can use it. But then okay. you have to buy one of those for every microphone mic yeah. that you're using i was like oh I, fuck that i think for the level of production we do now these are fucking perfect i i do think and i don't know if it can be solved by maybe just turning the default um noise on the mic down before mm -hmm. we record which i didn't even do before yeah. this but um i do think we could use a compressor or something yeah. to go like in a between. live compression yeah, yeah because it does like there are times where we get really loud and it blows out yeah, I would almost say, well, yeah, level. if we lower it all and then our caps are at the top and yeah. then you just do compression to get everything in post. That's why it's like maybe you get like a compressor that goes in between or something. I don't know. I, I Compressors are weird to have. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, nor I'm I haven't looked into any of this. This is just, you know, this is our, we have our business meetings on the podcast. So. Yeah. <laughs> just yes, like, yes, yes, yes. The quarterly it's, earnings were shit. <laughs> so hey, I was just thinking, like, like, now, boys. maybe instead of getting, because like these mics, and I thought we had 2035s, but I think these are 2020s. 2020s, yeah. They're only 100 bucks. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's not bad and at we have all. A, Dude, it's so it's so weird. So when me and you were looking to get a four pot mm -hmm. uh, interface, I had an eight one, mm -hmm. and I had spent five hundred dollars on that back in like twenty fifteen. It was for my drum stuff, and I never used it. I'm like, Sam, I got this. We mm -hmm. could use it. And then you started looking into it. That's four. It's half. It's just the newer generation. It's four hundred fucking dollars. It's crazy. Damn, dude. Those so are insane. all of it. All of the prices now are pretty high because yeah. obviously everybody's at home now yeah. and like doing Podcasting's shit. been blowing up <clears throat> since yeah. COVID. So it's very expensive. Even like the Shure microphone, which is like the Shure SM7B SM7 or whatever, yeah. which has been around forever, mm -hmm. is like four hundred bucks. Yeah, it's crazy. They're, They're so cool. yeah, oh, yeah. It sounds <laughs> crazy I, out of them. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just I popped it open the mm -hmm. other day because it literally we were talking like, oh, when's the mic supposed to show up? And we gotten a package like an hour earlier there and my boss is like i think it should be there and i'm like oh, we have a new package and i opened it up all in live it was like i, I was doing a fucking what channel you guys unboxing. Use for your audio interface like what oh uh, so we have a mixer um oh, okay. it's mm -hmm. a digital mixer but 
The problem with digital mixers is you kind of want somebody to operate it. Like uh, the interface uh, is kind of the thing you just plug in and it pulls and sends out audio digitally. Whereas a mixer is more like you're it's the you're doing something. Um, you can set it to forget it kind of thing, but yeah, I, I feel like that's like when you want to do like live yeah. uh, shit and we don't have a guy to yeah, do Yeah, when that. I was looking in the reviews for like the Shure SM7V, everybody was like, please read this before yeah. you do like, please read this. And I was like reading all of them and I was like, yeah, this seems too complicated. <laughs> it's like, do not want to do anything with this actually. So there's a new version of the SM7V. Mm -hmm. It was like a, the new podcaster's mic. Yeah. It was like $150 cheaper oh, or something. Oh, okay. And it's, it's based off of that. It's smaller. It's like a shorter version. I'm curious if they went around that, like they made it so that it was more of a powered uh, yeah. microphone. Cause yeah, I don't, I've heard, I've heard that too, where mm -hmm. they're very quiet microphones yeah. and you have to bump the fuck out of them for the audio geeks. We're running it like half ma or like at noon on the, uh, yeah. the gain. Yep. So there's nothing going on really. Like we could, we have a bunch of room to go up if we wanted to, but we do not need that. No. I, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I don't no. exactly. But, but I'm saying like, I don't know if it's the SM7B yeah. like you. Yeah. And I wasn't cranked. willing to like go, Oh, let me get the uh, sure SM7B. And then we only have one. And then it's like, also it's like, Hey, it might not even fucking work. Who knows? The, you might need to invest another hundred dollars at least. Yeah. And the fucking thing about this channel is, Hmm, should we get that? I got this great idea. We buy one, <laughs> use it a few times. If it doesn't work, we can't get it figured out. Send yeah. it back. I have about four hundred dollars worth of shit in my room <laughs> that we never got to send back. <laughs> so, because we got like a bunch of uh, like what are those fucking shitty phone oh, lavaliers? Little, yeah. And Sam bought a bunch after I got mm. mine. He's like, oh, I think we can make it work. And then we used it. And he's like, it's shit. I returned them. He got to return them. Mm. I had mine for like two months at that point. I'm like, That's, we'll just take it. <laughs> take and the we, hit. Yeah. And we got like a wireless one that was mm. kind of cool. I think we've used it twice. And yeah. We've just never really it, done anything with it, it. Is that the one you guys had me test out? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. How'd that end up sounding? Couldn't fucking tell you, Jose. Yeah. So. I don't think we ever pulled anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's it's been weird. We used to do like me and Sam used to edit a lot more together and stuff, and now it's just kind of like, yeah, Sam's up there. He's just doing it. Like I'll find out Sam did a fucking record. I was like, okay, yep. We've just got a, just a knack for out. it now. Everything's set up and ready. Yeah, everything's set up and ready for Sam. So yeah, Sam. Uh, and Sam and Josh is just too fucking busy to do anything. <laughs> too busy of doing his fun things that he gets to do. I know. It's like, yeah. man, I'm so busy having a jam. I'm so busy having <laughs> to hang out with my girlfriend. Oh, my family yeah. now wants to do something. Those so bastards busy. really want so it's much. Like, wow, that must be a so nice much life. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> and then meanwhile, I'm like, hey, what'd you do, Sam? I hung out with Danny. I was like, oh, that must have been fucking awesome. <laughs> Yeah, he called me last night, oh, and he was like, "Hey, nice. he's like, congrats on the three thousand subscribers." Like, That's okay, awesome. <laughs> so I was like, and he's like suspicious. Like, what do you want? Like, he's so weird because I would say of our friend group, like in terms of support for the channel, he's been the most like wet noodle ish. Yeah, yeah. Like, he'll he's be like, on oh, here every cool. now and then. He'll ask a question. Yeah, he's been on the ch the podcast a few times, but it's just like, oh yeah, we're doing this for the channel. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah it's like did you watch it i gotta be honest i got it through like five minutes and i have add so i just went to something else <laughs> yeah. like yeah thanks bud <laughs> yeah you know it happens whatever yeah. um i saw i went and uh watched uh west and my nephew his soccer game today oh how oh. was that yeah he's doing indoor soccer oh, so just like, like his footsteps. uncle yeah can't so, wait till he but gets it's roasted. not like um so like when i was doing indoor soccer it was at a boys and girls club which is uh -huh. the same thing for him too mm -hmm. uh but mine was inside of their gym and they basically just turned the basketball court into like they put walls up and it's an indoor soccer oh thing. i got you um his is set up where they have like the uh like the astroturf kind of grass like the oh, fake grass dope. thing and, but and they just put walls up where is it? it um it's down by the beach so you kind of go, you go past the Denny's, you know, it's like way down there. Um, it's next oh. to what used to be the Taco Bell Pizza Hut, very close to that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, oh, and there's Popeyes? a Boys and Girls Club down there, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, the, the Yorktown one. Yep, yep. Oh, that's so weird. I never go down there. <laughs> yeah. I think Popeye's is the stopping point unless we're going to, like, bl uh, get blizzards. Yeah, yeah. So, but it was, uh, it was kind of nice. They did this thing, so, like, it's obviously they have a playground and it's all gated off. Yep. And I show up, it's me, Melissa, and Weston. And they're immediately like, okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, scan you with a COVID gun, you know, whatever, oh, cool. to make sure you're good. And then they're like, just so you know, we're only doing one parent, one kid past the gate. <laughs> I, was uh, like, I was like, oh, okay. It's like, uh, that's cool. So you just grabbed a random <laughs> child. You're like, come on, kid, let's go. And she had told me before that I guess they weren't letting anybody in before. Oh. So it's like, it, except for the kid. But what they have is that's sketchy. they have the um, the gate. So it's basically a big park behind this gate. Yeah. And then but you can go along the outside of the gate and you can go to the other side of the indoor soccer field. Oh, but sure. you're just not on the inner part. Oh, OK. So it's like I still had perfect view, but, 
But I was like near their goal pretty so much. So like, yeah, yeah, okay. Instead yeah, of being on the about. side where the nice middle side, I was standing next to the goal, gotcha. which Weston cracked me up, dude. Why? Was he goalie? He starts, so they rotate goalies because okay. they're only like five, six yeah. year olds. Oh, they're trying to create shooters. I see. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so they, the rota- lock. they rotate goalies out, and Weston is like, hey, who's going to start goal? Was like, me, 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 me. Nice. <laughs> and like, immediately he's like, yeah, I like being goalie because I get to sit here and do nothing. <laughs> it's like, His and, team's just that good that he just gets to kick it. Yeah, so I'm standing there next to the goal, and he's in goalie, and he keeps kicking the fence next to the right <laughs> And he's just like, he's like, Sam. Wham! <laughs> just like he's, I was like, I feel like I'm gonna get him in trouble because yeah. like I'm standing next to the goalie, he keeps fucking hitting the fence, kicking the fence. You should I'm start like, fucking around with him when somebody gets mad. It's like, hey, I'm gonna need you to leave. Yeah. I don't know this kid. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. just fucking talking shit over here. So it was like there were a couple times he was like he would get in the goal, and you know they have the line of the goalie where once mm-hmm. it passed that line, it's in. Yeah. Um, he was just walking it back and forth, <laughs> just like doing little, <laughs> just doing little paces, walking back. He and literally forth. can't get past me. And like every once in a while, the ball goes. Like, What's it ready? What's it? Ready? <laughs> it's like, it's like, and he's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you. But it's like he very clear, like he. So he forgot his shin guards today, oh, which you know, it's not not the biggest thing because you know yeah. they're, they're fucking little. You kids. say that, but you then you got but a then you get limp kicked. noodle yeah. nephew. Um, but then it's like he so badly doesn't want to get kicked, doesn't want to get hit by the ball, oh, doesn't want to no. get anything. So he's very like, <laughs> like doesn't want to. He looks like a professional on the outside, yeah. but when he doesn't want to get hit, so dive he's the like, other way. He's very kind of like half committing where it's like oh he looks like he tried and then yeah. it's like nah it's like don't don't want it maximum Fucking effort hell. and he's absolutely uh nailed the most important aspect of soccer he's a great flopper oh great, he knows great at flopping so he was like there was a big bunch of the kids so obviously all the kids are just all chasing after the ball yeah, constantly yeah. so they they don't understand like oh maybe we should have someone hang out on the outside and then like they'll yeah. get the ball they're like all oh, just yep. like in a big clump. yeah little kids so weston's in there and he's like Kind of just walking around trying to get the ball. Like he, <laughs> he out of everybody on his team, he seemed like the most. Where it's like he clearly does not uh, play soccer. Uh, where it's like all of these other kids, their parents must have drilled soccer into them because his yeah. team had a couple, like a few actually, kids who were very good for their age yeah, in soccer. Dang. Where it's like it's clear that they either have like a brother or somebody. Where it's like they probably play soccer nonstop. That's dope. So, but like Weston is like he's how he should be for his age. Like yeah, he's mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm trying to get the ball. Yeah, you know, like, this is like fun. Kind of like stumbling around, and he is running after the ball constantly. Which I was like, damn, I'm surprised he's fucking doing that. Because yeah. I was stopped. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but he I'm was hang this, out here so you can pass it to me. Yeah, but he was in this big clump, and uh, he got hit like with an elbow. Oh. It just looked like his were just like trying to get through yeah. to get the ball, and he's immediately like. <laughs> and just like the, the ref comes over, it's like, "You okay, Weston? You okay?" And she's like looking at it, and he doesn't have any sort of mark or anything. And he was like, "I think he was like, I want to go sit out." <laughs> and, <it's> like, <laughs> and so when we were in the car on the way here, he was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna be goalie." I was like, "Oh, goalie's a cool position." He's like, "Yeah, you don't have to do anything." I was like, "Hey," I was like, "Okay." And then uh, Melissa was like, "No, Weston's like, you're gonna play all of it. It's like you're gonna go off the ball. You're gonna do really yeah. good. It's like make sure you know if you're the goalie, you grab the ball with your hand." He's like, well, I'm going to try and sit out. <laughs> and then she, he, was like, wow. she was like, no. It's like, you're going to play. It's like, no, I'm going to sit out. <laughs> that fucking kid, dude. That fucking kid. So he was like, that's the best position. I was like, yeah, amen, Weston, hey, amen. Bench warmer for life, man. Yeah. And he, it's like he did it multiple times. He fucking sat out. I, I think twice he sat out the game. I don't know how this happens. I see Melissa just actively trying. <laughs> She's just like, we'll get, we're going to eat these good foods. Yep. We're going to do this, this, and this. You're not supposed to do this. But Meanwhile, he fucking he's Chris walks ship. around. And he's just like, "What's up, bro? I'm doing whatever the fuck I want." And Weston's like, "That I'm gonna yeah. do that. I'm gonna be just like my father." Yeah, it's but so funny. I couldn't imagine. He's probably going to be one of the professional floppers. Like he's gonna be in the league <laughs> he's because so funny, dude. What, there was that one time I came home and you and them were leaving to go get stone fire, and yeah. we got out of the car and Weston went to fucking jump punch you, <laughs> yeah. and you just went. No. <laughs> yeah. And he fucking fell to the floor. I thought he was trying to hit me. He yeah. le- leaped so far yep. and fell. No bruises, no Maximum pain, effort, man. no bleeding, nothing. And he just sits there for a second and he's like, everyone's looking at me. Okay. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden he's up in fucking Melissa's arms like, God, that kid's like, so fucking good. Even for soccer, like, so he got hit in that thing and, like, the, the referee's like, here, here, I'll take you out. Like, yeah. you know, they go to their little, like, hockey the, corner little, thing. Yep. And then he's immediately fucking around in there. <laughs> it's like he's totally <laughs> fine just, like, slamming the thing. It's like, like, walking back and forth, laughing with this kid that's in there. It's like, <laughs> so stupid. And then he, I think again, he gets, like, kicked. Uh, I think a kid, like, kicks him in the shin or something. He's immediately, oh! he's immediately like, <laughs> and it's like the referee is like come on Weston it's okay it's like come on and like Weston just wants to go sit out <laughs> it's like, look He's just like, like come yes. on and it's like, it, was whole, it was his whole goal and there were a couple times where like his team had the ball and like he was just like 
I'll try and like kick it real softly. Yep. You know, it's like I'll, I'll give it a little like great F effort yep. on that one. I did it. <laughs> yeah. But hey, great F the- in real life. Good. Yeah. 60%. But yep. he had like the, these kids on his team. Like there was two of them that were very good. Mm-hmm. Um, and one of them had like the whole fucking cheering squad over where I was. And they were just oh. like backseat gaming nonstop. Kick it. Clear it. Clear it. Clear. Oh. Pass the ball. Wait, Pass wait, the ball. Were they, were they Mexican? No, they, they were white. They were white. Oh my God. And they were parents. just like, Remember, make sure to pass the ball. Don't steal from your own team. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, clear it, clear it, clear it, clear it. Yeah. I like the don't steal from your own team. Like that's kids. a, that's that's a normal You could tell that those parents were at one point soccer players or at least yeah. athletic. He he stole from his teammates every chance he could get, this kid. Oh, he was a ball hunter. Every oh. chance he could get. Like uh, someone else would have it, and it's like he would just run by and take the ball. I was like, Good. <laughs> it's like, Jesus. He's getting into Blue Lock, boys. They just like, Touch I was kind of watching that. I was like, yeah, you know, it was like, obviously Blue Lock is a big thing. It's like, oh, no, fuck them. I was like, take yeah. the ball. But it's like they're five, and it's yeah. like everybody's like cheering Crush them on. Them. And there was one of them in the goal, and they're like, "Pick up the ball, pick up the ball!" And the kick just kept kicking it out because, like, you know, he's like flustered that the ball yeah. is like next to thing. It's like, "Pick up the ball!" You don't want them to shoot again, do you? Pick up the ball, and it's like, oh, dude. Oh, man. dude, they're yeah. they're kids." Yeah, and it's like it was like really annoying, and they kept like kind of talking about. It. I think this big group, it must have been like they must have been the the parents are somewhat mm-hmm. related to three of these oh, kids. Oh, I'd love if they were not related <laughs> at all. Yeah. There was only the three kids. I was waiting for them to say something about Weston. It was like, it's fucking on, dude. It's absolutely <laughs> on. It's like I'm so annoyed by these guys standing yeah. next to me right now. It's like it just takes one thing and it's fucking on. What is this one kid? He keeps flopping. He keeps flopping. He is doing the best he can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like some would say that's the most important role. It's like you're just lucky they don't we're, allow shootouts. See, or we we got toss the, yellow cards yeah, all day. We got your the ball team. back. Yeah. <laughs> But there was this one uh, Mexican guy there, Jose, and he had his kid was there, and he's like some chubby kid in there, and he was cracking me up. The dad was. <laughs> it was like he would get so excited when his kid got the ball. Yeah. He'd be like, shoot it, Vato! Shoot it, Vato! <laughs> and it's like he'd be like, go on, drive it home, Vato! Let's go! Yeah. Like, yeah. like, I was like, I love that guy, dude. dude that, like, just gives, I, that just gives – Gives me PTSD to when I was a kid playing soccer. Oh my god, yeah. my dad, <laughs> yeah. dude. He's like, no, no, me go, 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 go. Because yeah. I'm lefty, which is yeah. very rare, I guess, for mm-hmm. soccer players. Are you? Wait, are you lefty? I'm ambidextrous. What the fuck? But are you? Do you have a preference on your foot then? Like, if you are playing Just soccer, so are you lefty? lefty? lefty. Yeah. Oh wow, I'm full lefty. That is weird. Uh, wow, okay. wait, I don't. Which is I don't get it. It's weird when I skateboard. I'm on right, but I can only do like ollies and stuff on my left foot. Oh okay. What yeah, fuck? I don't know. My brain's weird. Did you only play regular soccer as day, like full blown? Like yeah, full blown soccer. That's all I. I tried indoor soccer for a little bit, but they took me out because uh, I like I was just good at curving the ball as a kick. With yeah, you started foot. using the walls around. If him you're a selfish player, angles. indoor soccer is great. By the way, oh really? Because you could just bounce the ball off the wall to yourself. I got too tired in uh, uh, indoor soccer because it's a lot more running back. And yeah, forth. it's fast paced constantly. Yeah. It's like because you, the, the field is so short. Where it's like you're playing nonstop, like it's yeah. like boom, 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 boom. Yeah, there's like there's those super soccer parents where it's like a kid gets hurt and everyone yeah. starts screaming. They're like, "Spry, spry, get the yeah. spry!" And I was like, "What the fuck is a spry?" Yeah, it's- my my boy was like uh, when his kid is like they grab the ball right outside the box. They're allowed to grab the ball. Yeah, hands, hands, hands. referee. <laughs> <laughs> mano, mano. Yeah, it's like that's so. And he was on the phone for the last half of the game, but he was still watching. He would stop his phone conversation. Oh, I got the come on. <laughs> Support your kids, like man. That, that's it. It's like follow through. Come on. <laughs> that character won't be the or that kid won't be the main character in anime it was, for sure. He was so and he was like it was interesting watching the kids because I so I'm right next to the goal of uh, like Weston's team mm-hmm. and I can see the look on the kids' face like when they start running towards the goal they get so happy. Yeah. They're like oh oh and then I'm they get score. like really flustered. They're like I'm gonna score and then it's like they you know they do or they don't. But it's like, and the one kid comes up and steals that shit and goes the other way. <laughs> yeah, he did do that multiple times. He was very fast. Like this one kid was very. Like, there was one kid who was – he was number three, mm. and he was very clearly, like, heads and tails better than oh, everybody else. Wow. So much better. And he scored probably every goal for Weston's team, and, and he was, name was incredibly Ego. fast. Ego. He got hit with the ball multiple times and just oh. kept going. He wow. got Dude. tripped multiple times, just kept going. That You know, you got to build up a toughness. Like, last night I was watching an episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and there mm-hmm. was, like, a fly, fight club scene that they wanted to get into, but they're like – we can't get in here because we're we're pussies when we get hit. But <laughs> Charlie, yeah. we'll beat the shit out of Charlie. And this is Charlie Day's character. Yeah. They trained him so tough that he couldn't feel chairs being smacked against. Him. <laughs> oh, smart. Yeah. So, so there's that's probably what the kid that he got balls kicked at him. Yeah. Dude, like, this kid, he was so when it was his turn in goalie. This number three is like he was obviously bitching the whole time. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to be goalie. This is stupid. Like, can uh, I switch out? Because obviously he wants to be run out on the yeah. field. Um, he got kicked right in the face with the ball. The oh. ball went right into his dome. He blocked it. Just kept going. What? Like it legit smacked him. It's not like he did a header. It legit smacked him. Good. And he was just like, ah, whatever. So I imagine at his home, uh, they just have like w- 
daily shoot or like nightly shoot nights yeah. where the entire family lines up and they just have him stand at a goal and they yeah. peg the fuck out of him with balls. Yeah, there were multiple times when it's like, uh, so he had this one guy and I imagine it, it's, I don't know, maybe his older brother or mm. like an uncle. But so they have like, it's it's a full blown park and like the Boys and Girls Club kind of takes over part of it. Mm-hmm. And there's one of those big concrete walls. His uncle's up on the wall so you can see over the fence into the thing and like shouting like what to what? do. And stuff. It's like, damn. And he's like giving out like legit orders. So I imagine it was him that like is really like training this kid you. to do it he's like remember it's like do this do this is this and i'm like oh yeah okay it's like that's him and he was also very nice like at the end when we were all going back over um weston was walking like he's like hey sam sam i was like hey and then the guy was like hey is that your kid i was like no no that's my nephew he's like oh well i brought snacks for everybody he's got like a whole oh, box sweet. of snacks for everybody it's like oh okay yeah. oh he's little, gonna little, die for somebody's character <laughs> development <laughs> little, little, little gatorades and everything yeah it yeah. was a uh, capri sun oh, doritos yes. and a fruit roll up weston was pumped <laughs> that's <laughs> like, that's the fucking feast of the best. there was always someone that brought like gatorades and stuff that was my favorite. yeah when we were doing uh when we were doing inner soccer it was always somebody's turn like they like delegated like especially if it was a game mm-hmm. it was like it's always one parent's turn to like bring snacks for everybody and i always be disappointed when you get the one parent that brings oranges and shit it was just like mm-hmm. oh, it's healthy yeah it's like I feel like melissa would be the one like, hey i brought uh chia milk and <laughs> uh here's some quinoa over here yeah. <laughs> it's like it's really good for you guys uh like, you know oh, okay yeah is anyone gonna healthy fruit snacks here you yeah. go it's like enjoy that I used to play okay. a lot with uh, Pedro, Dominic, Ricky, all those guys back in uh, middle school and a little bit of high school. Right yeah, before. we played um, in middle school. I played a lot of flag football. Is yeah. what, well, well, you played with Cody. Two hand boys, touch, right? I guess, yeah. is what it would be because we did not have flags. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you well, just shove someone in the yeah, ground. Yeah, yes, it was yeah. shoving football. So. Yeah. I, I hate sports. I, I used to play soccer back at, like, uh, what is it, Mile Square Park? I don't remember. Back at anything. Lakeview? No, Mile Square Park. Oh, okay. Like it was like a thing mm-hmm. to go to. Yeah, yeah. They, they, I, they had a couple courts there. I remember that. Yeah, I don't remember jack shit about it. <laughs> I you remember that part you, out. Would, you would get a bunch of fucking trophies and like yeah. sashes. You're like, cool. And then I just think about it's one funny. Or two like times. I don't remember a lot uh, about doing it, but we did a lot of sports growing up. We did. Uh, I don't know if I ever played in a team, but Matthew and Brandon did, and then I, you know, we played around here. We used to have the basketball hoop here, yeah, we, so we did basketball a lot. Um, I was in regular soccer, soccer and indoor soccer, and then uh, we did surfing. We did surfing that. Is dope. Yeah, surfing um, is badass. We obviously also just did boogie boarding a fuck ton because we live so close to the I beach. I feel like, like when I we first started hanging out, like mm-hmm. when it was like the whole groups were kind of coming together before high school. You you were boogie board guy. Like you went it's to the beach awesome. a lot yeah. and boogie board. Yeah, we did fuck. skimboarding too. Yeah, that shit's that awesome. Hurts. It hurts. It hurts like a bitch when you miss. Is it like a, you shin or like no, what happens? Ankles. Yeah, because oh, it's oh, the it's, it's the so board low. that you throw on the really low water and, you and jump it, on it. Yeah, and you jump on it. So if you jump past it, you get fucking pelted with this board oh. and it hurts so yeah. bad. This reminds me. That, uh, I was watching this fucking Instagram video where a guy threw a boomerang. Mm-hmm. And it came back and it went lower. I guess he threw it low and it came back and fucking shinned him. And you heard it. And I was like, <laughs> I just remembered when people would do like the sick yeah. flick on the, the scooters and that shit would just come right back oh, into your fucking yeah. knee or in your fucking shin. Oh, fuck yeah, that. I think, I think we were very active as kids. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot of sports. And yeah. then um, I wanted to do volleyball in middle school, but volleyball. <laughs> that school. was before my growth spurt. So I. Didn't get picked. Oh, yeah. that's right. If, if, they, only, they if knew. only they knew, right? Yeah, like a fucking month in, you're like a foot and a half taller than everyone else. Saw bitches. <laughs> yeah. You see the one kid in the yeah. back jumping. I was like, I don't even have also, to jump. Also, I remember <laughs> Sam having the very oldest voicemail ever. I yeah. Remember, yeah. I yeah. remember calling you one time and you didn't pick up for some reason. And I heard someone else's voice. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I, I was with Tommy. Yeah. And we're calling you for something. And I kept my voicemail forever. Yeah. And it's just. Hey, Sam. Yeah. yeah it, it was Sam. exactly what it was. It was like, exactly what it was. I, is this Sam? No, this, I don't know who this is. Man. We, we panicked. We're like, did he give us some girl's phone number? Like, what the fuck? I knew of Sam in middle school, and there was that one day, you probably remember when I like left, because we were all hanging out with JJ. You showed up to JJ's house. Mm-hmm. I was still asleep, and you started talking. He was like, what the fuck happened to your voice? Because you went from, I don't know how it's going, that was to high fucking school. deep. Yeah, it was literally the transition. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was like first freshman year. Super fucking deep. But the other story I keep fucking thinking of is you saying, oh, I want to join volleyball. I just think of whenever we go to my pool and we play volleyball, <laughs> <laughs> Sam is the biggest cunt. <laughs> yeah, he's it's up like, in the front spiking it. He's lunging in the air fucking 18 feet <laughs> and then smacking it. Him and, and Matthew. It's like, okay. because Matthew gets real sour when oh, that starts. He gets dude, real sour. It's, it's the epitome of like a fucking sibling Matthew rivalry. Matthew and I are very competitive. So. You guys are assholes, yeah. dude. 
Oh, dude, remember when he was dating his la- or that one girlfriend, Lacey, or whatever, and she just was not holding her weight? And oh, Matthew my went, God. And it would just be turned around, Lacey! <laughs> to the point where if anyone was on her team, if she whipped, everyone on the team was like, Lacey! And she's like, I wasn't even near it! <laughs> But Sam's idea... because we, we stuck her in the deep end a couple of times. Oh, that was awful. Like, Sam was the only one that was legally should be playing in the deep end because it was just enough of a handicap to keep mm-hmm. us in a realm. But Sam would always be like, okay, serve, and BAP! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it just gets... It, it's like, he, oh, no, what he, do we do? He fucked with Danny a lot. You would smack it at Danny's face a lot. Well, Danny didn't have the... F- Danny's got the sh- slowest reaction time. <laughs> he would fucking come at him, then he would fucking flail around yeah. after, like, oh, shit, you know, he's useless over here. But, yeah, Sam's idea of having a good time was just pelting it into the fucking water right in front of you. It's constantly. called a spike. Yeah, it's just, I, I get it, and you were using a fucking beach volleyball, <laughs> and it would float around and everything, but it wasn't a fucking, it, you took it too seriously, my guy. <laughs> you took it too seriously. I play to win. Unless <laughs> I know I can't win, then I'm playing for fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. we would be counting, and then it's like Sam was losing. He's like, yeah, we're not counting anymore. We're not having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, we should do that again sometime. Yeah, it, that is, was it is starting to get really hot again. Oh, my so, God. Yeah, it is starting to get really, really good. I've been coming into my fucking room. I'm the only pl- person in the house that doesn't have an AC in mm. their room. So I come and it's like, fuck, it's like, it's like <laughs> a fucking swamp sauna in there. I'll open the window and then, you know, the critters start coming yeah. in. You're like, okay. <laughs> Dude, at work, our air conditioning is fucking busted again, oh, which I think on. is a fucking racket, by the way. Just like, oh. I think the air conditioning guy comes. He like flicks a couple switches, like that'll hold for about a week, and then I'm gonna yeah, be so back gonna again. Call later. me back, baby. <laughs> yeah, because it's always broken, and it's always when it gets hot. So I don't know if it's maybe like a, a too much usage thing, but it always breaks, and it's always the same motherfucker that comes he's, on by. He's and, probably related to that chick that was doing the stealing of the Harry Potter. Yes. and shipping wow. it through. Hey, the remind me, I have a Pokemon card update. After. Oh, okay. Right. Um, so She's it's like always broken. It's been really, really hot. And obviously I was on vacation. I noticed it when I came back. I was like, this is really hot in here. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, air conditioning is fucking broken. And so, you know, just doing normal things, whatever. I have like a couple of fans down there. So if I'm like mm-hmm. standing right in front of it, it's bearable. Mm-hmm. Um, and then next thing I know, I'm down there by myself and water starts to leak. I, like right next to where I have all the boxes piled up, oh, like where no. I'm grabbing them from and bring them to my table. This is like that's water? a new leak. That's so the P leak is on the opposite side of the room. This is a new leak. Ew. I'm like, oh, that's uh interesting. And yeah. it's like leaking from somewhere. Like there's a whole bunch. So the way the res- the room is set up, it's a very tall room, and there's a fuck ton of pipes that run through the like the roof of the back room because like the bathroom and stuff is on the second yeah. floor. So there's piping and stuff that's go through there, and it's leaking dropping down hitting an air vent and then splattering everywhere oh, so it's just like going no. all over so it's like, raining yeah and i'm like oh that's fucking wonderful so i go upstairs and uh, i immediately go talk to my store manager like hey it's like it's leaking down there and she comes down she's looking it's like that's weird it's like that's uh, that's really weird so she's kind of looking it's like oh the sink was clogged so i just cleaned it i wonder if there's a link or a leak in the sink so there, the sink was oh. clogged, filled up with nasty water. She cleaned it, and that has been draining into the back room, dripping through this thing. Oh. And I'm like, oh, cool, wonderful. So, you know, she's like, oh, I'll call someone to come fix it out. Gotcha. You know, a week goes by, uh, probably leaks a couple times, you know, whatever. The guy comes by. He's like, all right, I turned on the sink upstairs. I'm going to take a look and see if it starts going. And sure as shit, it starts leaking again. Yeah. And he's, like, looking at it. He gets this really big ladder up and places it against these pipes and, like, climbs up there. And he's, like, looking, like, oh. It's leaking through the concrete. I'm Ooh, like, what the oh, fuck? like that. I was like, and he's telling me that. I'm like, that's not good, right? Like, that if it's the coming, concrete's broke, right? Like yeah. through the concrete. He's like, well, no, it's actually much better. And I was like, really? And he's like, yeah, because now I don't have to be on this ladder. I can just go upstairs and go fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, it's like, but it's not gonna be more difficult. I was like, ah, it might still be a pipe like bursting, but it's seeking through this crack that you got in your roof here. Oh, okay. And I was like, oh, okay. So it's like in you when, know, when are you gonna call him back in like maybe ten years when yes, the fucking seriously. crack gives way. It, it, and I was looking at it the whole time, and you know, like that's how like little canyons get formed. It's like all this yeah. water comes through here, and I'm just thinking, like, yeah, that's gonna fucking fall one day. It's like yep. it's got Could've this been little a massive crack, hole, and it's a kind of a massive little crack going through the roof, and the water was just seeping through all of it and just dripping down, oh, and it's just like it was leaking pretty hard, and I'm just like, oh. That's that's cool. It's like, yeah. and I had to warn everybody because it's like if they're coming from the outside, they're going through that. I'm like, hey, heads up! It's like sink yeah. water coming down there. And I, I was telling the guy, and he was like, yeah, you got any other like leaks you want me to take a look? It's like, well, we got a piss leak. <laughs> and he was like, he was like, really? And I was like, yeah. I was like, it's a, there's this drain on the like the floor of the men's restroom when the urinal overflows and like you know leaks onto the thing. It goes right down this drain and it fucking leaks down here. He was like, uh. oh, it's a floor drain. 
Oh, okay. And they just walked away. Like, oh, it's because it's a floor drain. It's not my problem, I guess. Yeah, no, there's there's top drain guys where, you <laughs> yeah. know, like wall drains and then floor drains are totally different it's guys. like, wow, I really would have liked him to fix the piss drain, but it's like, nah, <laughs> floor drain, no, thank you. You got to get a rescue medium for that other one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. God. She came back. She should have got her number, really. I feel like it's a I, missed opportunity. <laughs> she could have been a podcast guest. Yep. Oh, I, that would have been her fucking... to the house, see what's up. I think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> you and I were talking before Jose got over here and Sam fucking did the classic Josh, you fucking suck, or something like that. <laughs> and I was pretending, I was like, oh, did you hear that? It was a ghost. Yeah. And when Matthew left, I feel like I haven't actually heard or felt like any weird shit going on in the house. I don't know if it's just because I'm not here. Maybe as much the weird as... noises are from Matthew. Oh, that fuck. No, but it would the be groaning. when Matthew wasn't oh. home. Like, it... yep. no. no, 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 no. Because we would hear very loud <laughs> mo- like movies being played in a different room. Yeah. But no, like, I, yeah, it's him. He's fucking haunted as shit. Yeah, maybe he, fucked, so, he pissed somebody off. Who yeah. knows? Well, I mean, yeah, Matthew was the edgiest kid of all of us, yeah. you know, so he probably said some well, shit. Someone, cursed him. The someone cursed him. Oh, he's a ginger, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he got, got no the, soul, so what does it matter? <laughs> oh, that fucker's just going around making deals with the devil. Like, <laughs> they'll never know. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, a Pokemon update. Oh, so yeah. So, I talked to my Pokemon lady that comes in. And she was like, she came in. She's like, oh, have you guys been getting hit like any harder than like normal for like people coming in? I'm like, no, nah, kind of like same old thing. And she's like, oh, well, Target. Uh, so now, you know, last time we talked about it is Target is only giving out Pokemon cards on Friday, no matter yep. what day they come in. And that caused people to camp out overnight the day yeah. before because they know come Friday. That was fucking gnarly. They can come get them. And they were allowed to get um, three things is what they were allowed to get for Target. Three, whatever they want. And so now she was like, yeah, they changed their process again. I was like, oh, it was like you were telling me they can only do Friday. So I go, well, yeah, so it's only Friday, but now no one's allowed to be on the premises until 6 a.m. of that day. So they don't want anybody doing it, and they've changed now where you can only get one item per person. So it's not even worth doing this set out. Yeah. So I was like, oh, no shit. It's like even here, like our strategy that we have is we let them do one ISBN, which is like one unique product. So you get one of each product we get. Okay. So if you come in first, we usually only get, like sometimes we only get like two of like a, a big product. So it's like you get one of that, a pack, you is know, the whatever. whole point of it to get the, like that rainbow Pikachu and that char- that like. Um, I don't Charizard. know if those are so much the big ones anymore, but every time a new pack comes out, there's always one that costs like four hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, yeah. you know, whatever. That's always the These goal. These bitches should have gotten into fucking Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic way t- way long ago. This fucking yeah. this bullshit. So that's always always the goal. They're always for reselling, and it's like now we have people come in where they'll be like. They'll show it's like if we showed up and like, oh no, we're all individuals, we're getting our own, and then yeah. they just hand it off to one guy anyway. So it's like his friend will recruit six other friends and like come yeah. in and be like, Yep, we're all not together, it's like we're all here for Pokemon, and then they just each buy one. And but, then one person stays at the end of the fucking cash register waiting for the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like, I'm Hey guys, uh, we're all getting in the same yeah. band, right? But it's like, there's nothing we could do, it's like we can't physically be like, Oh, you guys can't do individual purchases, like we can't, yeah, we can't do anything about that. Yeah. So we just let them do it, and it's like if they want it that bad, I mean. We're, we, as a retailer, still make the same amount of money. It sucks that it's not going to, like, a kid or someone yeah. who would actually use it. Yeah. But, I mean, like, my um, – John, the guy who used to be my manager, like, he just recently was like, hey, we getting Pokemon cards in? And I was like, no. It's like, you know, confused that you're asking. Yeah. He, and he was like, oh, my kid is like – he I, like, he's always liked him, but it's like now he wants he wants to start shooting YouTube videos, doing yeah. Pokemon card stuff. And I was like, oh, it's like, cool. And he was like, yeah. It's like, can you just let me know if you get any – so we got in some in the next day. I immediately grabbed all of them. I was like, send him a picture. Like, yo, how many you want? It's like, That's tell me right, right now. Fucking set him aside. Because pretty much anybody – my store manager has asked before, too. If anybody comes up to me and was like, hey, I have a nephew, a, a son, or whatever, it's like – and they, they work with me, obviously. I'm not going to do this for random customers. But it's like, could you just let me know or like set aside some Pokemon cards? Because they yeah. really, they're impossible to get. Yeah. They're yeah, impossible they're to get right now. So like, if they were to ask me and they're like, hey, like my son really wants it. like, hey, no fucking problem. I'd so much rather yeah. go to a kid who's like, yeah. same thing with like with Weston. When I give Pokemon cards to Weston, like, he loves opening them and just putting them in his little binder. Just yeah. like, put him in and he's terrible at organizing. Yeah. Those binder. are the joys, though. We used yeah. to do we, Yeah. We used yeah. to do that all the time. And it's like, yeah. that's the best. And it sucks now that it's like there's this whole fucking market that's taking all of them and it's yeah. like you can't do anything about it yeah it, it's fucking it's really lame i dude my fondest memories when i was like younger was going to conventions to play like when a new Yu-Gi-Oh pack would get released yeah and you would go to the like opening i only uh, did that like once with you guys and that was really cool it was so was cool. Really, you really, get, really cool like you do the pass around yeah it's like dude, you build I'd your own deck shit. out of all that yeah yeah you would just buy like a fucking boot like a booster box and you just hang out with your that friends that was so interesting to me that they have like it was like a preview thing right yeah. mm-hmm. so you go to like it was like an anaheim convention center you yep. would go there it would be in a little room and then they would have a whole bunch of vendors who were set up there because they want you to sell your rare cards to them immediately you, yeah. the moment you get them everybody gets like three packs or something for free yeah. 
you open them on the spot, then everybody's like fucking uh, vultures, yeah. like coming in. Like, and you oh, hear I somebody that, fucking pull that, the, the card. It's like, yeah, it's like, and if someone pulls like the card, yeah, they're freaking out over yeah. it. It's like, da, 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 and then they want the you to sell it. It's like, it's crazy, but it was yeah. so cool. Yeah. So cool. I mean, we used to, because we did like, I went to one tournament that they had mm-hmm. like a, that one uh, baseball cards plus. We used to I went to Toys R Us tournament. Toys R Us. Oh, yeah. Time. oh yeah. that's dope. Yeah. I would like to go if people weren't so toxic because I, I had just got into it. I went when I was much younger, like like when Yu-Gi-Oh was still like just getting new. Like that's 2003, when I went. like early yeah. on. That that would be cool because I, I wish I got into it younger so I could be a part of the toxic culture before. Because <laughs> uh, I remember getting roasted by a fucking kid and it was like 12 or something. Yeah. And I'm coming in as like a 19 year old and this kid's just memeing. He's like literally shit talking my deck to me. I'm like, I hate you and I would never want to come back to this because yeah. if you're the starting point. The fucking final boss is ten times worse than this shit. Yeah, it does suck. It's like, I feel like with the internet now, it is going much more to the, like, for fan bases and, like, I don't know, like, popular shit. It is moving more towards the don't be an asshole side of it, where it's like people are actively kind of calling people out, where it's like, hey, it's like, like, let's take, I don't know, My Hero Academia for something. Yeah. It's like, hey, let's be more supportive of people, Mm -hmm. like, joining it and stuff instead of, like, being an asshole. Like, yeah. Where I feel like the gatekeeping, like, people hate that word now so i feel like people are super against it they're like yeah. no nope, don't do that like and yeah. it's like same thing like if someone wants to get into Yu-Gi-Oh. i feel like you're much more likely nowadays to like get someone who would like oh yeah let yeah. me help you out it's like i hope you do Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. whatever where it's like totally back in the day like starting we went to a couple of card shops and like oh no that's trash like, you don't, no, I don't cut want that. yourself no. with your cards at the end yeah. of the week no fuck you can't hang out with us dude yeah that shit was stupid the art of playing for fun kind of went out the window for a little bit so yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's why I still love Magic so much because we got into like competitive Yu-Gi-Oh like amongst mm-hmm. our team like we were following guidelines specifically and we would get in like shouting matches and have like rule fucking Check fights. Check the fucking rule book. <laughs> what was the, the spell book. speed on that bullshit? Like you <laughs> yeah. know shit like that, and you know we would have fights. But that's also that was fun. Us anytime we play anything. But like when I played Magic, I don't think I ever got into the meta, so I was just making decks to have fun, and I don't know if. Like there's obviously like a magic magic meta, but I don't think we ever introduced ourselves to it. And you could still have like these really cool combos and shit. Mm-hmm. And so it was just it was just really nice. That was what I liked about it. You could build a deck and have fun with it. I just I when I think of like magic, like so when magic, so I played we we both yeah. played a lot of Hearthstone, oh which, my God. a lot of Hearthstone. Yeah. Um. And so when magic was coming out on the PC, I was like, oh sweet, like that's gonna be so good. It did not translate. No, and it's like. It's really annoying, too, because I, I do think they try to stay as faithful as they possibly could. But because of that, every single time something is played, do you want to react to this? Yeah. Yes, no. Do exactly. you want to react to this? Yes, no. He just played this. Do you want to react to this? Whereas Hearthstone was built around not having reactions. Yes. It was pre-play kind of and thing. And it was like every time, like if you had a counter to something that somebody else could do, it would ask you every move they did. And I'm like, dude, no. It's like, yeah. stop. It's like, and it was just counter. Because like, in a, even a game like Yu-Gi-Oh!, you have the same sort of thing where yeah. it's like you're let's say you're sitting on like a trap hole the most basic trap card mm-hmm. like they'll ask you every time or like yeah. you have some sort of a counter spell thing they're gonna ask you every time yeah where it's like it's the same thing like magic they're like hey 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 you want to do this you want it and it was yeah. so annoying but then it, it almost feels like it gives the game away to the other person it does like, so it does like they know you have a counter it's like yeah oh, okay because when i saw other people doing it, I was like oh they have something to counter or something yeah. like i don't know yeah. what it is but they have some sort of a counter so i'm gonna play around that now yeah. and it just like it wasn't they, I feel like they almost needed to take the core game of Magic that people love and streamline it almost. Yeah. Kind of like what Yu-Gi-Oh! do with Speed Duel. Yeah. Like, they almost needed a Magic version of Speed Duel yeah. so that they can turn that into an app. Because the, like, you know, legit version of Magic, there's a lot of, hey, you want to do this? Like, there's yeah. a lot of options. Whereas, like, I feel like if you got, way, like, yeah. if you're trying to make a mass market app like it's got to be streamlined yeah and i really wanted to like magic because i got pirates in it so i'm like yeah. yo let's fucking go oh do you remember the old pirate decks of like hearthstone that shit was yes fire. i got the legend with patches. warrior pirate dog so i, I, I was straight to the cut. top i was at the dmv trying to get my id for uh going to florida mm. and i was just grinding out hearthstone got gotten the legend that dude i think that was the closest to me being a toxic person like in gaming <laughs> i i remember cuz i was still living with my first girlfriend at the time and i would be up at like 4 in the morning mm-hmm. playing on my phone and the phone was 10 times worse because i would always make like fucking play mistakes yes. because i would tap something wrong i had to not take my phone and throw it across <laughs> the room at 4 in the morning countless times and like i i still loved it though when i would come over and you would be playing I'm like oh do that and you're like hmm yeah, that is a good play. Or we have like these fucking <laughs> yeah. shit talk matches yeah. where it's like, yeah, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. And we would like you would play arena. And always be him. Always, always be him. I think we may have been the most toxic people I yeah. know. 
I remember too when we used to do the fucking like Xbox 360 shit, and there was that one guy is like, "You guys are a bunch of fucking pussies. Yeah. You guys are stupid." And I was like, "Tell him like you are what you eat." Sent that back to him over Xbox Live. Well, well, then you guys are a bunch of dicks. Like, no, no, take backs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oldest rule in the book, baby. Yeah. Yep. And I think we got a friend like or a friend yeah. out of him. So but. I, I still do that a lot. Like, cause we play uh like the game we pretty much only play nowadays is Apex Legends. Yeah. And I mean, like me and my online people. Um, that's like all we play if we're ever playing anything. And you run into a couple toxic people there, oh, big yeah. time. I play and toxicity nonstop. They'll man. come in and like they'll just start going. Like you'll start trying to talk to them, like KYS, KYS. Like what are you doing? <laughs> it's like it's like why are you guys with me? What are you doing? Like they'll just start popping off. And usually yeah. like I'm playing with somebody else, so we're like the majority number here. It's yeah. like I don't know why you're trying to be toxic. Yeah. And it's like I'll just keep talking to them over the mic, and it's like they'll eventually be like, "All right, you guys are pretty good." <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like, "Yep, thanks, got it." And they'll like always want a cue, and then that's like, "Nah, fuck you, bitch." <laughs> it's like, "No, thank you." But I, it's like a lot of times it's it's a moment of anger. These people come from where it's like yeah. they get really mad and they're like, I'm going to fucking do it. Yeah. And then it's like they are actually, you know, they're fine. But it's like, yeah. I, but I, yeah, I think their their reaction is to yell and fucking scream. And yeah. Say, like the most toxic, vile shit they can say. Just oh, yeah. To get it, I, know, I like, understand that. This very, is what you make me feel. So. I'm sure you do, Jose. That's Sick. all Overwatch is. Yeah. That game's dead in the water now, by the way. I don't know what's going to go on with that. Do it. I happy who, left, right? Who, who? Kaplan? Yeah. Yeah, oh. Kaplan. Legit. RIP. They think they him. fired him, though. He posted on the subreddit something about, like, it was a really short message um, where he is was like, hey, thank you so much for all your kind words. Yeah. It's been really great. You know, like the normal yeah. generic yeah, yeah. stuff. And then his last line was like, um, like, please support the Overwatch team. They really need your help right now. And Ooh, I'm like, Ooh, that means the game is suffering. That's spicy, dog. Yeah. It's like that one line I read. I was like, oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah. Well, when their their thing was that they were saying because uh, he was VP, right? He was like the head of like he was like Team the, seven, the right? guy. No, like, no, for, he was the guy for Overwatch, but he yeah. was also like uh like the VP. For I don't know Blizzard, what his rank was in uh, Blizzard. I don't they, know how to fuck yeah, up there. But no, he was very. Sure. Yeah, yeah, they were saying that that's the reason why he couldn't handle doing both jobs i don't think it's that. i don't think it's that either i think blizzard, I think, uh, I think blizzard was just like nah you're doing nah i think it's ea yeah or whatever activision activision, activision yeah yeah i well because i told you guys uh the fucking morheim was at my work and he was saying that my boss asked him like why would you leave a two billion dollar industry i couldn't make like any of the decisions i wanted to well like, ben brode left also you yeah, remember he yeah. left to go make his own game studio he's yeah, like nah I, fuck that did anything no nah, i still follow them so okay. i could see um, I think last I saw they were just working on some mobile games. Got you. But I don't know if they've released like they do have a game in the works, so they Got say. You. I don't know if they've released like, it. It's been like what four years it feels like. It's been like. a while, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I it's sad because yeah, I don't know why they did the Activision acquisition or like what happened. Wasn't it the other way around? Activision bought Blizzard? Yes. Yeah, yeah. well okay. that's sorry, that's okay. what I meant. I yeah, I don't know why that happened because I think Blizzard was doing fine. Like World yeah, of Warcraft, no doing, matter what I you think have. they were still in their peak when that happened, right before that happened, right? Peak was uh Wrath of Lich King, my guys. Well that's a good sell for them then. Yeah. Like even like if you, obviously, you know, you would argue Wrath of the Lich King, but if they are in like their peak peak and they sold, like, hey, fucking congrats. Yeah. Yeah. But he stayed and then they, he just realized like after a while, like, oh I can't do I can't make the games I wanted to make. I think that's <laughs> what happened with Kaplan too. Like Kaplan yeah. just had so many other ideas and then they're probably pushing for a no, let's just get it out as soon as possible. Yeah, but how can I charge sixty dollars for you to, you know, purchase well, this? Now game? people are I know saying, they don't do that uh, people are saying that it might not even be sixty dollars. No, no, I meant like uh, microtransactions. Oh yeah, microtransactions. The yeah, they're they said they're gonna do um what is it you do in most like Call of Duty games? Battle Pass? Or Battle Pass now for Overwatch. I think that's the way to go. I genuinely, genuinely think that's the way to go. Well, they're um, smart because I will fucking buy. Totally. I totally. Get... It's, it is the, like, I buy every Apex Legends Battle Pass. Yeah. Um, I do it with Fortnite too, even though I don't ever fucking make it all the way. Dude, Fortnite just raked me over the coals for oh, money. Fortnite. They just, so I'm Would signed West up. didn't get a hold of your account? <laughs> no, I'm signed up for the uh, premium. Plus Ultra? Uh, no, no. <laughs> I'm signed up for the premium. Uh, they have like a, so they have a Battle Pass. Oh, then, they're sending you a scarf? No, fucking shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, they have, so they have a uh, like a monthly subscription thing that is not the battle pass as well. Mm. Because with the battle pass, so the way the battle pass works is they always try to give you enough um, V bucks or like this is how any battle pass works usually is they give you enough currency so you don't have to like repay for the next battle pass if yeah. you make it all the way. Oh, gotcha. So like Apex even That's does that too, hard. where it's like you never have to buy another battle pass if you're always maxing out your battle pass. Yeah, you so always if you're actively the, playing the game, yeah. you get the most out of so it. So you yeah. can just keep going. Because of that, they obviously lose out on money because people play Fortnite non fucking stop. Yeah. So Fortnite has introduced a second called like Fortnite Club or something, oh God. where you pay ten dollars a month, you get that amount in V bucks sent to you. So it's like you're buying V bucks, but you also get an exclusive skin that's only for oh. the club members, and you get like something else as well. Okay. And so I'm signing up for that also. You fucking psychopath. Uh, 
because I gotta show off my skin to West and I got flex. You're but toxic with what'd that. You get, what'd you get this time? Um, so the next one is some like devil looking guy. I, it's like prehistoric. None right? of the skins have looked really cool from this club. Okay, yeah. That's well, the I've very heard. first one was Green Arrow, and that one was okay, mm. but it was more like Arrow from the CW show, and that uh. was kind of lame. Um, in this battle pass, they have Raven. Would love to get that. Never gonna make it that far in the battle pass. Gotcha. Isn't it but like level seventy five or something. <laughs> very far in, yeah. yeah. But they just brought back all of the dances, like all of the like legit song all dances. The OG no. ones? Like the they're called Icon, yeah. whereas like they're actual songs. I bought probably forty dollars worth Jesus of of Christ. songs. So I now Boy, have, how you I now have Savage by Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> I um I have two different dances of Dynamite from BTS, so I could dance around. I got all kinds of dances. <laughs> Uh, Just so you can flex on your nephew. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have so many dances. <laughs> And I'm just yeah, going yeah, around, yeah, and yeah, every yeah, time yeah, I win, yeah, I'm yeah, doing a new dance. It's like I kill, I wipe a team, I immediately pop a dance because it tells you, <laughs> you tells you how there's like how many people are spectating you. So you'll see, like you'll go from zero spectators, now you have two, or like how many people you killed. I'm pulling out the Rickroll song, or I'm doing, <laughs> or I'm doing Gangnam style. Like I was, I wiped a team, and there was some bot shooting at me from really far away. So I was Gangnam styling on their bodies back and forth as I was getting shot. At. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Uh, they, they, there's cosmetic. Oh, and I also bought a, a hot ass gladiator woman skin. So okay, yeah. all right, we're gonna need. Does she look picks. like Rebecca from One Piece? Uh, no, she no, does not. not she, that hot. she, she looks pretty hot though. But so yeah, they they raked me over the coals. They got me good. They raked you over the coals. Sounds They're, like your fucking lust to destroy your <laughs> your, your nephew's, nephews. Fucking, like, their skin game and like dance and stuff yeah. is out of this world it's i would agree, so yeah, I agree good. with that yeah like and i just bought they just brought a pack of uh anime skins and where oh, it's like it's three oh, anime girls and yeah. you get their matching pickaxes and like backpacks yep. and stuff i mean i had to buy that my too. brother has those it's funny as well. yeah, yeah they're yeah. great they're really great chris really and like, i bought one and then uh wes was like what about me nope this <laughs> 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 is like, like sorry chris wouldn't want him to get into that shit yeah <laughs> But so is it like just generic anime girl or is yeah, it like, just it's oh, not okay. from anything. I they, I'm so surprised they haven't done any sort of crossover with uh, like j- Japanese properties yet. Yeah. They've me, done DC and Marvel at the yeah, ass. Just let me know because yeah. I will purchase them on my yeah. account just to have them. I'm surprised. So what game is really big in Japan is actually Apex. Apex oh. Legends is very big in Japan. Like they wow. love that game. Oh. Um, I don't, I not in the right circle for Fortnite, so I don't know how Fortnite translates, but Fortnite did have his Golden Week sale, mm-hmm. which I feel like if you're having a Golden Week sale, you'd probably have a Japanese audience because that's a oh. purely oh. Japanese thing. What Apex Legends did the same thing. So Golden Week in Japan is a week where they have a bunch of holidays that all line up, so they usually take oh. like the whole week off. Like everybody's off for a whole week. Okay, because yeah, I know you said that uh, My Hero didn't come out this yep. week because yep. of Golden Week. I, yep. wasn't, I never heard about it. So it's pretty cool. I think that's a cool way to do it. Like yeah. you have a bunch of holidays and they're like, hey, have a fucking week. Go, that's go like our, our final week of the year in America. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty cool. That's what that is. And like they'll, they'll have sales, but Apex is horrible on their skin game. So bad. It's like they can make so much more money if they would just fucking make good skins. Their skins you, are atrocious. But are they like focusing more on like the game, the quality of no, the game? No, they're definitely not. Their servers are trash. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Chris and I will play, like, well, we're the only ones who like will play Fortnite. Um, Fortnite at its current like state right now, obviously, we play very casually is such a well-made game and like it just runs so well it feels really good i don't ever feel like i got fucked on yeah like i legitimately feel like everything hits everything works it's like it's got cool dance cool skins like the whole game itself is so polished like i understand why it's so like successful do you think it was because of that or they were successful so they were able to support that it could be a little bit of both yeah Yeah. what came first chicken or the egg i don't think it's it's been great since it came out yeah, I think it's always been in the limelight since mm-hmm. it got yeah. released. But it's like, meanwhile, like Apex, I'm constantly like, I shoot somebody who doesn't reg. Like, I'll hear the noise and no damage will be done. Mm-hmm. Um, the servers are crashing constantly. It's like, it'll lag. You load into the server the first 30 seconds, just choppy as shit. It's like, yeah. they spend no money on their servers at all. And it just doesn't feel good. And like, their skins aren't good. <laughs> oh, their one server worker is watching this. And he I is fucking just hope so. It's, it's, it's so bad. I'm a boomer, so I can't build in a. Uh... Fortnite. That's so difficult for me. I'm pretty good at it, dude. I'm not I'm not popping nineties as the kid call it, but I, I can <laughs> put up a wall stuff. and stuff and like, you know, I can enough to cover my ass. I like, play I get the basics of it. I just like when they start building, I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know. I play really asshole like Jose. So there's there's no. a there's a fire bow in the game now. So if they're building with wood, you just shoot that shit ablaze nice. and the fire starts spreading and I'll just wait. And it's like, or they'll like build really crazy. Like they go, and Chris will start trying to like shoot at him, like have this fire fight. I'll just start breaking the bottom bases. Yeah. So they start, so they fall down. It's like, I play like an asshole. It's like, and they'll like get up above me and I'll just sit and wait. It's like, I'll just wait right here. It's like, they got to come down sometimes. Like they're going to have to move. 
And it's like sometimes it works if I can hit my shots. Other times I fucking whiff and it's like, all right, well, that was a good try. <laughs> but it works really well because, like, they're expecting you to have this big build battle with them, like, God, where you dude. start fucking, like, intermingling your wood going up in, like, a fucking helix shape. And I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait down here. Or it's like they have grenades that uh, they're, like, bouncy grenades. Well, like, they'll you throw it, it'll, like, take it and go shoot you up in the air uh-huh. so i'll just carry those on me and then when they start building up i'll just throw it down and i'll shoot myself up to go get them because i ain't building that's Not, good it ain't that's happening good. how's uh how's valorant i remember we were into it for so a while. we played valorant for yeah a while I mean, we really played into it for it. like two or three it's weeks. like csgo um there's too many fucking flashbangs in that game i don't know if they uh-huh. fixed it but it was like every ability is some sort of a flash some sort of a you walk through the scene your screen goes bright red it's uh-huh. like it was just not it's not and like not I even never a seizure warning thing. It's just a yeah, yeah. I I never really got super into CS:GO. Like we played it a, a fair bit, but I was never like really, really into that kind of like setup of a game mode. So like the base game mode's not for me. Uh, but even then, I it's it's a good game. But got you. And I, I would love to get into it because like Riot does a great job supporting their games. Yeah. Like they make great skins and stuff too. But nah. Uh, not yeah. not looking not looking forward to that. So gotcha. Apex Legends for me, Fortnite's good. Uh, Call of Duty just released a new map that I haven't played at all yet. So, th- which is pretty crazy because their maps are huge. Like, yeah, they have yeah. massive giant. Mass maps. So they just released a new one. Um, I'll probably try that out. But their updates are crazy. Like I think it was like eighty gigs or something for that. Jesus Christ, which is just How- insane. So you're only supposed to have that game on your fucking computer? Yeah, yeah. the game got so big. Um, they they added an option so you can uninstall like the campaign and stuff. You kind of piecemeal uh-huh. it now. But before they did that, it got so big that on some Xboxes, you wouldn't be able to play it because it would be too big of a... Uh, Damn. Of a Damn. That's insane. Because what's the current, like, when you buy, like, an Xbox? I think it's, like, 500. 500 I think that's what it is yeah. now. It's usually 500. 500 gigs? Yeah. Yeah. Gee, but it, I feel like a terabyte's, like, minimum A terabyte's now. only, like, $100 more, yeah. I think. I think usually. 500 is the, the default. And Got then, you. like, they they all have the option for expandable storage. Like, you can all oh, okay. get expandable stuff. Mm-hmm. Is it, um, like, you could get... Does it have... To, so, I know with, like, Apple, you have to buy, like, Apple-branded So, products. they do tell you... They do the thing where it's, oh. like, buy this one if you want the best performance. Gotcha. So, like, they try to, like, sway you away from, like... But you can use any. Okay. Yeah, any that's one. what I, I did before in the past. I just bought an external, plugged it in, yeah. and reformatted it. Well, that's what we did yeah. on our 360. Remember, yeah. we had the fucking USB? We just had yeah. a little USB that would plug in. And it was, like, the base of a Captain America USB. Yeah. Or something. It was, like, it looked like rocks. It just... <laughs> you plug it in at all. That's like, what that was? Yeah. 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 Oh shit. It used to have like a Captain America figure on it, and it was a USB. Yep. I rem- oh that makes sense because I remember moving your room around to move your mm-hmm. computer desk, and we took that rack that was originally like the gameplay area, and we had built like a, f- a thing for all your games. And I was moving the Xbox, and there was that rock, and you're like, "Do not lose that. That's really important." <laughs> yep. I was like, "What? It's the USB for the 360, dog." That's crazy. I got a USB for the 360. I got a USB that has Windows boot on it, so yeah, if we have yeah. to install Windows, you know, we got that. I got one of those too. <laughs> and then uh, I feel like there's another USB that's just hanging around my room somewhere, but I don't know. I um, speaking of just fucking booting Windows, we have a tenant that bought in these. Uh, we use like enterprise grade like Dells and stuff like that, mm. and they're like the desktops you can like it's really cool they're almost like legos on the inside like you'll pull out a part and it has like the cables built into like the shell so mm-hmm. when you plug it into like the motherboard it plugs oh, the cable smart. in for like the fan like everything's fully modular they brought this thing and it was like the dell precision 7920 or whatever it's fucking massive has two cpus cool. 512 gigs of uh ram on it god damn like it had a four terabyte hard disk drive and a two terabyte nvme it had a 1400 watt power supply that was like shuckable. Just like a you could giant just brick. pull it out. It was, yeah, I was stressing out having to look at it, like having to do anything to it. But um, I don't know if it's just because it's such a beast or what. We could not initialize it properly. Like we were trying to do the bootable drives, like for a regular mm-hmm. Windows computer. It's like, yeah, that shit ain't going to work, homie. Like it was what just. What you have to do? We had to go. My, my boss has some program that finds like the ISO, like the, the yeah. proper boot for every type of model. So he had to go actively look for that one That's specifically. Annoying. That's really annoying. And for some reason, when they got it from Dell, uh, the operating system didn't get put on the NVMe. It got huh. put on the hard disk drive. So I was in the fucking stone age. I would turn it on five minutes later. The computer would boot up. I was like, I cannot hang with this. <laughs> and we were, I had to do, I literally spent like a four hour day trying to get this mm-hmm. thing to boot off that one disk or the uh, boot drive. It was not working. Somebody came in. He was about to leave the fucking room. He was done with this shit. It, yeah. That shit, I remember having to pop open the, uh, the CPU um area you know and how i feel about doing anything computer related not I, about that life i find it fun but this is one of those ones where it's like this is probably 15 grand and fucking stuff mm-hmm. in here mm-hmm. and if i fuck anything up i we have this current problem at work where i get zapped on everything because the carpet 
creates so much static electricity. So you go to like the kitchen to go like grab something in our uh, steel fridge. I go to grab it, oh. and fucking get hit in the hand. And I was sitting here like working on this computer on that carpet. I'm like, oh my fucking god! Like he's gonna fry the computer. For some reason, we just don't have the fucking anti-static wristbands at this work. We just no one believed in them at fucking work. So I was just sitting there stressing with that shit. But yeah, sorry, you gave me PTSD with the fucking boot drive. Um, well, we're about coming to the end. Uh, I want to talk about things that came out this week. Uh, you guys can check those out if you like. We did. Uh, I got a Crunchyroll crate the other day, which yeah, was actually yeah, yeah. pretty decent. Yeah, I gotta see that. Yeah, my shirt is yeah. from that. that. Is super that, that clean. Is, it I, is clean. I like that yeah. a lot. It's like it's a shirt that I can wear to work, which is great. Yeah. So it looks. It looked What's big it when you pulled it out, but mm-hmm. like, does it fit pretty nice? Yeah, yeah. It fits. Like, <laughs> I find that the shirts usually I get from like Loot Anime and stuff, they're pretty decent. Like, that's dope. They're really, really good. And then that Black Clover journal was fire, I, uh, fire. Dude, I, I, I was looking through Spoilers, the spoilers. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, watch the unboxing. <laughs> if you want to see. Guys, there's more items in there. So yeah, yeah. It, and then you, I saw you put the other thing over your head, mm-hmm. and I'm like. He it's was saying, I see light here. Yeah. And I was like, well, Sam, I already got you that one mask. <laughs> yeah. You, you shut up. <laughs> but that, that one, that, that, that's not as tight. You know? No, so it's not. Who, who, see, who knows? Who knows? But it um, cool. What else did we put out? Obviously, Bleach Boys came out. Yeah, yeah he that's got our other on. podcast that we do. Uh, we did a Bleach live stream. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's the one all up. On. Um, I spent 4,000 everyone wish- orbs. Everyone was wishing you bad luck. Yep. Everybody was toxic. It, it seemed like I watched like the post video you did yeah. after. It's like, guys, we're back. I faked everybody yeah. out, dude. Uh, I, I he, was like, he sent that, and and, and Pythes like, "Yo, why is he still on?" And I'm like, I, so I texted him, I'm like, "Why the fuck are you still?" On? I fucking, I was like, "All right, bye, everybody." It's like I'm a good one. I was like, "I'm not gonna spend any more. Don't worry about it." And so like I put, I took off all of the monitor things, so like it went to a black screen. And everybody in chat was like. He's still alive. He's still alive. <laughs> and Jose was like, "Hey, Sam, you're still alive." I was like, "Oh, I know." Yeah. So I just waited for probably like 30 seconds. Everybody dipped out except for. Fourth Swag Kage and Retsum. And Retsum was being really positive and cheering me on. Fourth Swag Kage was the OG guy who was That was my boy, me. dude. He's like, Sam, I'm wishing you nothing but bad luck. Oh. I could tell because it was, fuck you, Fourth Swag Kage. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. yeah. So fucking, I was like, I, was like, I forgot. I'm, I'm super upset though. I forgot to turn the sound off for the game. I wish I had the sound uh, off for the game because I muted him so they would think that it was done. Yeah. And I remember turning back on my voice. And then it was like when I was watching the playback back, I was like, oh, it has no sound. But, oh, I fucking faked everybody out. And then it's like, I did one roll. It was trash. And then on the next roll, I got Aizen, baby. Oh, Aizen uh, fake dude, out. Fucking super rare. Right? It was super crazy. rare. I got, uh, I did it right before and fucking Bradley. Yeah, that's right. The guy who likes Nemu would get that. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah, bro. Yeah. Dude, people were shitting on Bradley at one point in the stream. I think Bradley wasn't there. They were like, yo, Bradley, if he was like taken over to the Bleach World, he would be Tozen, but like on crack. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was like, yeah. And then he would fucking ditch eyes in the first sign of a girl. <laughs> it's like, hey, it's that's like, dope. Uh, it's like, okay. I like He's Bradley a, a lot. He's himself. funny. I like yeah. Bradley a lot. Waffles. Yeah. Fucking so guy. the live stream is up for the VOD. I don't know if it shows on the homepage, but you go to like, uh, you click like past live streams, the whole VOD's up there. And then we did, uh, I put up the rolls by itself, which he is really good. He started talking about doing Momo and shit. I was yes. like, what the yes. hell? He was, uh, he was really going real about real degenerate about halfway through the stream. Yeah. So. That's, he tends to like, it's like, I don't know if he gets sleepy or what, <laughs> but he goes from being like, kind of like, oh yeah, yeah, I would do this, this and this. And then it's like, I would do so many things. Hey, I'm right there with him, man. <laughs> I'm right there with him. I was trying to work out the logistics because, you know, Pythes before, who's, who's our boy, he's the lore master of the channel, yeah. really. Mm-hmm. Um, he was like, oh, if you guys ever do like Mangaku for like Claymore or like Berserk or like he really likes Claymore, like, let me know. And I was like, how could we possibly do, because like that's a long series. Like yeah. I think I think it's 27 volumes oh my God. 130 chapters or something like that Jesus and i Christ. do think that was a monthly one too so those chapters are probably incredibly long. long we get to the point where we function off this channel fully mm-hmm. like we're mm-hmm. uh, we're all getting paid we do a uh, month-long hiatus and we come back <laughs> as like fucking sages and well we i was trying that. to think like if you know maybe what? you can we break it up like into arcs and, somehow and, yeah. oh sorry we come back like magna and luck yes, after they've yes. been training <laughs> But it's like there's just no way. There's no like I don't know. There's not a feasible way to do like we're gonna review all of Claymore, you know. And it's That's like just long. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's a, like doing One Piece. It's just it's yeah. a lot of fucking. Dude, our 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 boys who it's a one sided relationship. Pir- Pirates Parlay. Check yeah. them out if you like board yeah. games or anything like yeah. that. Um, it's this guy dressed up as a pirate and he reviews board games like pirate related. Very and well stuff. animated. He's like, awesome. He's so it. great. Yeah. Um, he just so he had that whole mix up. I think I talked to you guys off camera before. Yeah, you did. But he had a mix up, mix up before where he called One Piece a cartoon, 
and TikTok oh. went down his throat on it. And it's like you could tell like he's an older guy yeah. and he like had to make a TikTok going like, you know, uh, it's like I'm really like I didn't mean any offense by that. It's like yeah. I'm just like an older guy where it's like cartoons back in my day were Gundam and stuff like that. That yeah. was just cartoons to me. Mm-hmm. It's like I didn't know any oh, better than that. Oh yeah. Um, and he's like, you know, I appreciate you guys. Like those of you who did reach out to try to teach me something. He's like, let's just all remember to just we should build people up into yeah. your Aww, you know fandom yeah, yeah. instead of like tearing people down. So, but now he started watching One Piece and he's doing TikToks of like oh. every few episodes he watches he'll do a TikTok update of like That's hey cool. I watched it and it's so perfect. I was like yo awesome. I so wonder good. if he'll ever. Like if we ever have like not even a collab, just he knows yeah. of us. Like, cause I think that's been... I don't ever like communicate with him or anything. But no. it's like it's purely a one sided. Like I I just like this guy a lot. Yeah. How um, did we find out about them? Was it just you saw them on you YouTube? Saw them on and YouTube, you... I believe. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I think it was when you were looking for names. Yeah, maybe we, we basically became like their secret fan in the background. Like yeah. we always compared our channel to theirs. Mm-hmm. Like if we're doing good, they're probably doing good. Are we doing better than them? Or yeah. like, w- when do we surpass them? Cause they're doing really well over here. But it, I think it was because you're like, I see this guy and they have like this phenomenal, like production it's level. really good. And they have less, or they have just double the subscribers. And mm-hmm. we were like two, 300 yeah. at the time. But now it's like, Ooh, we got more than them on YouTube yeah. or something like but that. But their TikTok is blowing. Oh, yeah. Out. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, I, dude, I, we've talked about like having to do both. That's fucking nutty. It's so, but nutty, he but he's it. he switched over uh, like one hundred percent now, where yeah. he just posts his TikToks to his YouTube now. Yeah. And he does try to do the shorts algorithm yeah. as well. Um. He's pretty much so he's pretty much switched from doing content just for YouTube to now content for TikTok that yeah. he also posts to YouTube. So he's pivoted. And I've I've had these discussions with like my coworkers about short form content, and they're like, "Oh, isn't it easier? You could just start like doing this, this, and this." And I was like. Like some some of, the, some of it is easier. Like you, if you're you rehashing, like, like if you like, pulled bits from this podcast, like for TikTok, a lot of the stuff that I look at is more of like, if you're a Scorpio, you'll you'd like these guys, and it's just you going, yeah, like that, and then pick, 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 but pick. We were pick. trying to create content, more yeah, where instead of just like recording ourselves and I throwing mean, some shit up, we there. could do that, you know, test the waters with that. But it, the creating content was like fucking like what is it. We spent eight hours on a minute video kind of thing. Like it doesn't take that. So that was only the My Hero Academia yeah. video. Uh, yeah. really the other checks. ones are not bad. Like hey, it's I, just writing stuff. Yeah, and then we having we, video we knocked for out it. a lot. Like we still have some that we haven't even done. Yeah, but it's like it, the actual putting it together part is probably like half an hour, maybe, yeah. uh, maybe maybe an hour. Like I would if say, like mean, an hour per video. Laying down the voices. And um. Stuff. Yeah. Like and that's include like the voices, the editing, and all that stuff. Yeah. So it's not the worst, but it's like I just feel like. Where I'm at right now, like, I'm pretty tapped out on, like, yeah, yeah. I am already, like, almost every day I'm working on some video, whether that be the or edit, the thumbnail, the whatever, yeah. the, the reading. Yeah, Brave yeah. Souls. I, oh, my God. I, I'm yeah. fucking it's absorbed a, into yeah, that. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's like I'm constantly doing that and it's like I just do not have the time to be able to sit down again and be like all right I gotta crank out eight more videos for TikTok really quick yeah and if it like, were up to me we'd be doing seven days a week but I, I don't I, have the no. capacity for that hey I should be getting money back from the IRS by the way oh, are you really? because so uh, I had to file taxes I filed taxes very early on yeah and I had to claim all of my unemployment on there mm-hmm. of like here's how much I was on here's how much like I got off that and then they tax you on it like mm-hmm. they're like oh, okay you owe us this much off your unemployment then so I bucks. owed money for the first time ever. I owed money. It was just a little bit, like 30 bucks or something yeah, is what yeah. I owed. Um, but I normally get like 500, 600 back, yeah. which is a nice, sweet bonus. Um, then I get an email from TurboTax last week where they're like, hey, you know, and I think Matthew had mentioned before where the, they have decided now that you don't have to be taxed on your first $10,000 of unemployment. Oh, nice. Wow. So uh, they're like, hey, we're just reaching out to you because you filed your tax. Like the IRS just got back to us. Do not refile your taxes. Like they will sort it all out. It's like do oh, not wow. refile your taxes. I was like, hey, gang, gang, let's That's go. That's cool. Do they say how much you're going to get? or is it No, just like, no, no, no. Like, I, but, you know, it'll you be a like nice nothing, surprise right? when I just get a yeah. nice deposit into my bank account. What, like three months from now or something like that? Maybe a year? Free Don't money. Matter. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I remember when everyone got their stimmy checks and Sam had the fucking biggest meltdown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. It's like, oh, uh, did you get your stimmy check? The first thing yeah, or I got the second it. one? What kind of bank do you have? Oh, Wells Fargo. Huh, <laughs> dude. Well, what the <laughs> fuck? And then I ended up getting it on a prepaid debit card. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, they just wanted to be like, how much can we fuck with this one dude? And it's like, and then you get it. It's on some dumb site that I've never heard of before. Yeah. It's like, oh, you want to transfer it off there? You need to sign up for an account on our site, and then yeah. you need to transfer it over from there. And you need to go to like a specific. It's like, oh, I'm so is... glad I could give my information to another site. This is yeah. gonna be great. Oh, they already have it. 
Yeah. <laughs> Dude, well, the, one of the manga websites that uh, we use, I just got an email from them. Hey, uh, we were breached. You're part of the affected people. Congrats. I was like, the fuck? You what know is- what? This reminds me of Target all over again. Yeah. It's oh, crazy. I remember I, that. Dude, I was panicking. I was like, oh, I go to Target way too much. Well, we, uh, I work for uh, a state institute, and we were part of a hack as well. And all of my coworkers are getting fucking emails. Hey, we just want to let you know your information's been found on the dark web. And so I'm in the IT department. Everyone's like, so what do I do? What do I do? I'm like, I don't fucking know. I've never been hacked yeah, before. Yeah, big suggestion, everybody. There's a website. I don't know who owns it, but it's called I, Have I Been Pwned or something like that. <laughs> Google it. Um, and you can sign up for an email alert. Well, they'll basically, they're constantly, anytime any sort of passwords or anything like that get leaked online, they'll search through it for your email and uh, alert you. Be like, hey, on this recent leak, like your yeah. email and your password was on there. It's my like, boss uses you that. need to change it. It's great. It's yeah. like some guy just made off of Reddit, which is like, yep, yeah, here, I made this for you. Just basically just scrapes the internet. For Redditors all are fucking like, they're great. They're gnarly, yeah. They're yeah. So, like, I, I got an email from that too, where like, hey, you're change your password, whatever. But it's like, now nah, I have a password manager that doesn't mm-hmm. use. Like my mass password is not anywhere close to what my other ones are. So now all my other passwords are just like fucking garbage. Like yeah. when I gave you my Crunchyroll password, it's just like actually. Yeah, I didn't know what it, I was like, what the fuck it's is this? It's just it's gibberish. Yeah. So it works wonderful now. So I highly recommend a password manager and signing up for Have I Been Pwned. So. How much do you pay for your password manager? Couldn't tell you. Really? So yeah, it's like. Wow. <laughs> it's probably 10 bucks. I don't know. <laughs> I was preparing you for a promotional skit. So if we ever had a fucking ad on our, our podcast, you gotta, you know, hey, you know, I pay yeah. this much. Well, they would I tell really me. Re- I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I don't know. We'd segue into it somehow. Do you well, imagine us having to read scripts in the future? Oh, God. Dude, some of the ads, like, so Bill Burr and, like, even, like, uh, there's a Rooster Teeth podcast called Fuckface where, like, they they, they kind of, like, let you know they're clearly reading off the script. Yeah. And they tell you to say stuff where they're, like, they tell you to go, like, I use this and I think it's wonderful. And it's yeah. like, that's what the script's telling me. It's like, yeah. <laughs> where it's like, it's, so it's crazy that they literally, it's like, I recommend this to all of my friends. Like, that's just a line on the script where it's like, yeah, they clearly don't. It's like, it's kind of a weird world that that's like, I like what Couchop did with it where they would like have a skip for it. Yeah. And they would just have like Brett voice it over. They did such a good job. They went out of business. So. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Flash gets does that too. And then I would also say, I think it might be. Uh, one of the food guys I watch, but he'll put a timer at the top of his video. Oh, yeah, let you yeah. know. It's how like long thirty it's seconds be. left of ad, and it's like double tap all the way through that yeah. shit, and we're good. I'm just surprised that like advertisers ha- like haven't gotten to like, hey, do not do that, like, because they probably have a fucking field day. But wh- like, I mean, what they, are they can't do, do anything because at the same time, let's say popular YouTubers doing it, at least fifty thousand people said, hey, I'm doing Manscaped. Or yeah, I think the way to do it is just try to make your ad read fun. Yeah, which yeah. is like you know just. Nah. But that's you taking ownership of someone yeah. else's ad. Yeah. I, I don't think everyone wants to do that. They just want to get the, the money from saying, hey, here's my lines. Yeah. But I think in an advertisement world, like, because we watch that one guy every once in a while that does the Twitch stream on, like, uh, business and finances. Oh, yeah, Devin Nash. Yeah. He, I could guarantee you, he probably has some bit about, like, oh, when people say that shit about their advertisements, like, oh, they just hand me this script. The advertisers don't give a fuck because they would rather just have the information yeah. out there. Like no news is or no news is good news, and all advertisements good advertisement kind of thing. Like all publicity is good publicity, I think. And so that shit where it's just like throw them out there. It doesn't matter. Make the skit a little kind of funny because I'm saying fucked up shit. When Wendy's went off the fucking rails and was roasting the fuck out of people on yeah, Twitter, yeah, fucking like, Wendy's that they worked blew so well up for them because yeah. of it. So like, yeah, I, I think it's like. If they're reading it and they make a joke, fine, fuck it. I have this idea. Do you want to do – so we could do it with, sure. two, with two people. Um, Jose, I think you would be like hostess or no, like person who presents. But me and Josh, we go sit at the table upstairs. Uh, I think we get the old table out. All right, so it looks okay. something like this black table mm-hmm. here. And then we try – we we I, Coke versus Pepsi, classic idea, okay. classic. Yeah. But we get every edition of it that we can find. So like, like Coke, so like we compare oh diet Pepsi to diet Coke, and then we do like uh, Coke real sugar to Pepsi ooh. real sugar, and we compare like all of them back I'm and down. back together, yeah. kind of like a retin link format. But yeah. we do like all the Cokes and all the Pepsis compared to each other. I'm down. Yeah, Fuck yeah, yeah. Be dope. Yeah. No one steal our Coke versus Pepsi idea. That's patented. Nobody's done yeah. that before. That's ours. We, wow. We, Normally, it's uh, you guys can take this free idea nah, from nah, me. No, no, that one's ours. So Sam's no on the patent that. train wow. now. <laughs> We're going to get one of them to if sponsor us, and it's going to sway the votes. Yeah, if it ever yeah. doesn't pan out, Sam, you could just be like a ghostwriter for other YouTube channels. <laughs> yes, like, yeah. I've got an idea. I just throw out ideas. Yeah. You know, I'm not good. <laughs> So be sure to leave a like and subscribe on the video. And then if you're listening, of course, give us a good rating. Give us a shout out. We're on Pandora now. Uh, Pandora and Amazon. So you can find us on there. Um, Well, actually, Bleach Boys is there. Sorry, guys. Do you you want us to be on Pandora and Spotify? Not as cool. So be sure to check that out. And we will see you guys next Wednesday. Have a good one.